Joining me here in Studio A to talk about an upcoming event with the Daughters of the American Revolution, the local regent of the local chapter, Mary Hayes, is here in the studio with me this morning. Good morning. Welcome back to KSJE. Nice to have you here. Thank you. We're not talking balloons today. We're, we're not. patriotism. Exactly. And so you were telling me that the term regent is what the DAR uh, calls their local presidents of their chapters, basically, yes. right? Yes. And so you are the, ch the president regent of the local chapter. Yes, I'm the local leader. Yes. Got you. And so this big event event that's coming up. Tell us a little bit about it and uh, how you've gotten involved, of course. Okay, so there's three parts to this event that will be um, a week from today. Right. So um, traditionally we do what we call Bells Across America, and it's the first day of Constitution Week. And I read that uh, President Eisenhower is the one that declared Constitution Week. Oh. Um, so that starts on the 17th, and normally we, and we have a big school bell and and we we have some speeches and then people state the name of their veteran and they ring the bell mm -hmm. so uh, that's one part of it and then we um, go into um, libraries and schools as we are able and put information there about Constitution Week to try to get the attention of young people sure. <clears throat> on the uh, limited way there uh, but this year um, we were able to finalize this uh, Patriot marker, and it is to celebrate America's 250th birthday in 2026. And the DAR is putting these in different locations all across the country to prepare for this event. And okay. this is the one that our chapter has raised a lot of money for and is ready to um, dedicate. Nice. And, uh, so that will be uh, the third part of this event. Got you. And so you have this event planned for Tuesday, September 17th at 1 o'clock in Aztec. Yes. And uh, we are so uh, appreciative of Aztec, the city of Aztec, city councilors, Mike Padilla. Uh, they have welcomed us into their new park. So um, used to be when you went to the intersection at Safeway, uh, you could... You know, right. you could go to Albuquerque, you could go to Durango, or you could turn around and go back to Farmington. Yeah, well, you had three you can, choices. Yes, now you have four. So you can turn north, you can turn left, and this is a new park. And if you go in there um, and walk the path, there's a bridge over the river, mm -hmm. and then that leads over to Aztec Ruins. It's very cool. Right. And that's called the Rio de Animas Park. And there's a marker right before the bridge that says this was Armijo's Crossing and it was part of the old Spanish trail. Right. So there's so many amazing things about this air, this place. Lots of and history, lots of history. Very much so, and Aztec has done a great job in putting this together. And our, our marker will be placed at the beginning of that area. And um, there's some um, installations there on the right-hand side as you go in, and it'll be right up there. And that's called the Armijo Plaza. Okay. In honor nice. of the uh, Spanish Trail guy. And so, um, when I saw your poster, I, I didn't. The name of the park didn't didn't generate in my brain because it is so new. It is part of the North Main Avenue extension, basically, is what we're talking about. That area of Aztec and the plaza there at the end is kind of where we're talking about. I think correct. Yes, it is. And so that will be a great spot for this. And as you mentioned, there is a a trail that takes you across the river and it links to the Aztec ruins which is the whole idea so and it's a beautiful walk um, and you you know you're walking across the river and you look both ways and try to see magic things and your little walk up to there is pretty cool too and uh, it's just a wonderful addition to um, North Aztec yes very very true and so this um, this plaque this marker that you all have raised money for I imagine those aren't cheap because they are metal and they're d built to last and so that's kind of mm -hmm. what we're talking about and they're big right aren't they i don't know about three feet um, two feet wide mm, something two or something yeah um, but so they're significant a, very much so um it had to be approved by our national organization um because they're standardized for this whole event mm -hmm. uh, and they commemorate the and it says they commemorate the men and women who achieved American independence. These patriots believing in the noble cause of liberty fought valiant, valiantly to found a new nation. And um, so that bronze marker is mounted to a 
hunk of pink granite mm. and then it is um, that's what we'll see yes that is what we'll see gotcha very nice and you said again these are being installed all across the country leading up to our big uh 250th uh, birthday um, that's correct and nice. um so we are having guests from all over the state our state regent who lives in santa fe uh she's uh, an amazing woman she used to work for the state board of education and has worked in education and uh, she's amazing and then our national um it's called the um historian general and this is her area and she lives in los lunas actually uh, area bosque and uh she is going to be able to be here and as a national officer she has just traveled the country and the world this whole it's a three-year term mm -hmm. uh, so we're very excited nice. that she will be here as well all part of that ceremony at one o'clock right absolutely. on the 17th absolutely and we have kevin mousey coming to do our our uh gathering music we're calling it okay and uh, he's a, a bloomfield guy that has a really neat music setup and he's he's just wonderful so he'll be playing so park across um from this area that we've described like behind wonderful house and the physical therapy plate there's a large parking area there. right that's the best place to go park. sure and if you really feel brave park at safeway and walk across the intersection you can do that too that's yeah, true you right can. Okay. um and and try to you know be in place by one because that's when we're going to begin gotcha and we will have those two ladies and uh, some other speakers uh we have got proclamations uh that are being declared uh, I, I got the bloomfield one last night nice and tonight i'll do the the aztec one and the resolution for farmington um <clears throat> and one of those will be read and then we will ring the bell so mm -hmm. um one person will ring it 13 times for the 13 patriots that that's part of this and then we're inviting people if you have a patriot to the revolution uh, name name your patriot ring the bell nice if you don't have a patriot name your veteran right um, and ring the bell and then uh, you know we're not going to let that go on forever but you know that'll be very and we're hoping that the churches in town will ring their bells at the same time and then when we're we're planning that to be a one-hour deal mm -hmm. so even though you know it's middle of the day we're out there the city's providing awnings and we're gathering up chairs from okay places and so then we have a we're calling it a reception but being outside and i'm not in the mood to do a tea party we're having uh cookies and punch nice. uh, <laughs> that'll work so that'll work that will and work. um and then you know people can go about their day right well very nice well it's a great uh, reminder that this big event is coming up i imagine we'll hear more about the 250th as we get a little bit closer and probably the dar will play a big part in whatever we're planning for for that in a couple of years yes and also so here I'd like to thank Senator Scher because he carried the bill for New Mexico for the commission, the Sesquicentennial Commission. commission, maybe that. is that the word? That 250, is, I'm trying to think what that term would be, so yes, you got it. Uh, he carried the bill for that commission and, they've, and our state region is part of that and they are gearing up. Okay. To do the thing with statewide nice. that way, but we thank him for carrying that bill. Indeed. Well, it's important to remember our history and celebrate it. And 250 years. Gosh, I'm old enough to remember the bicentennial. So that's how old I am. Yes, and I had a child that year, and she's my bicentennial baby. Okay. And it, it's just wonderful. Um, and you know, we're so lucky that we are able to celebrate something like this because you know, with our constitution we have guaranteed uh, freedoms and rights and privileges that other countries might have it for a while and then they can't keep it. Yeah. Uh, but we have, you know, a three-tiered government that's supposed to balance each other out. And, um, you know, it's a beautiful system. And um, we are, you know, doing what we can to to help the energy of that move forward. I agree. And it's great to celebrate it and be known worldwide as the world's oldest democracy. And so thank you for your work with the DAR, Mary Hayes, and for putting this together. And uh, we look forward to uh, being there on the 17th at 1 o'clock in Aztec. The North Main uh, Avenue extension is what we're talking about and the dedication of this great Patriot marker. Um, again, 
uh, put up by the DAR. So. Yes, sir. And uh, one more thing. Don't trust your Google Maps because it will take you some weird roundabout thing and uh -huh. then you'll have to walk through the dirt and come down. So uh, just hit the light at Safeway and you're there. You're, you'll be right there. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Thank Thanks for being so. here. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.